Cool. About to get off. Turn it this way. Swing it in fast. That's a big one. <laughs> hold him up, hold him up. Spiky. Mm hmm. Dude, because he's so spiny. Yeah, hook that other one a little better. Okay, there we go. We're red snapper fishing today. got two fish in the box. Red snapper is still open here in Venice, Louisiana, and we can each, Lewis and I, can each get four fish per person. So I'm about to drop down and get my second one, hopefully. second catfish in a row that I caught and that was from dropping it all the way down to the bottom so we looked at our fish finder and we noticed the fish are a little higher up so next this time I'm not gonna drop it all the way to the bottom because that's where the catfish are apparently so that's gonna be my new strategy let's see if it works Oh, that's them hitting. That's them, that's them. I seen that. I saw it too, I felt it. They might have already eaten it. Oh, one of them. He's 
Oh, a baby Kobe. Oh, a baby Kobe. Oh, my God. Oh, he's so cute. Just, yeah. There he goes. Nice job. Cute. But also still not a wrist. <laughs> right when we start the video, we catch everything but a freaking what we're out here for. Oh, okay, another shrimp. Another shrimp. Made it Keep up. Keep it going. I am. I've never caught a baby cobia while I'm red snapping it. There's just a little tail left one. I was supposed to be next. <laughs> Finally. Swing them in. We got what we were out here for. Oh, man. It took a few tries, but we got them. All right, now it's a little is covered in thick spines and sharp gill plates and all that kind of stuff. Really when I'm doing any kind of snapper fishing I do like to have a pair of gloves. Just, just, um, this is my second or my third one? Second. Don't get ahead of yourself. See look he's got teeth. Can you see? He's got teeth so you don't want to stick your finger in his mouth. His gill plate right here is super sharp. His no, he doesn't have any spikes right there, but right here he does, right here he does, and all of this on his dorsal fin, all spikes. So it's really not a very fun fish to handle at all. Okay, I'm gonna quit talking and bullshitting around with you on the camera here. I'm gonna try to catch my next two fish as fast as possible, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, you catching them real fast. I catch them as fast as I can. Ow. These should be called cactus shrimp. Lost the weight too, or what? I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh no. It's okay. Look at these little random shrimp we're using today. Lewis said they're called mantis shrimp. I don't know what they're called. But yeah, I think they should be called cactus shrimp because they are covered in little spines and they're really annoying. I think they might be called king shrimp. I'm not sure. Yeah. Today they did trip. I'm going so slow. Yeah. Oh, here's a regular shrimp. Talking about how fast you're going to catch them and all yeah, that I just, bullshit. When I'm around all this sharp, prickly stuff, I just feel like I, I move really yeah. cautious and slow because I just, I hate getting moved. Only halfway down. 
guess, yeah. Let's try it. Drop it down a little bit. They yeah, look close. Small. Lightning speed right here. <laughs> Boy, she is fast. Look at her. Stop. Man, you are fast. Leave me alone, Lewis. I said we're not going fast anymore. Oh, okay. He swam away. Did you get him swimming away? Oh, yeah. He's fine. He's going to grow up. We're going to catch her next year. Alright, 45 foot. So three quarters of what you got. Alright, got it. I was a little bit deeper into the last time. That's good. What if the baby ones are at the top and the big ones are in the middle and the catfish are at the bottom. Maybe their first choice isn't mantis shrimp. So drop it down a little more. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. Alright. Yep, so that's where they are, that's where they are. So now whatever I had earlier that broke the hook off is huge. Yeah, it's probably a big <laughs> Oh god, it hurts my head. when the gill is stuck on your fingers. Ow! Okay, these are done, but they're still kind of alive. Okay. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All right, okay. they're ice on. <laughs> You're gonna close the lid? <laughs> You can bust it on them. I'm just gonna put it like that so that this one is like this. There you go. Get the little extra pieces in there. What about all them extra pieces? Oh no, I didn't even see these ones. Okay. Alright. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Okay, so I ended up having a little bit of a struggle. We stopped video recording, but we got, we finally got our limit. It's almost uh, sunset, really beautiful outside. And let me show you. Put the ice on top of them. We got a nice two person limit of red snapper in there. Some of the, like, one of my favorite, top favorite fish to eat is snapper, like any species of snapper. It's really delicious. They're fun to catch too, they fight really hard. Catch. Yeah, we, gotta, we just we had, had to get fun. serious for a minute. Oh, and yeah, that's was... a, we had to get serious because uh, it was getting a little tough and we figured them out and then we had a little- They kind of stopped biting for a little bit. We had a little tournament and I had to figure out what bait worked and told Lewis and that's yeah, how we caught yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so. uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's just end. Oh, I'm in neutral now. Oh, I'm paying attention. Probably getting straight up and down on it now. <laughs> yeah, almost there. I can tell by the color of the line. Want me to pull it out? No. Is it clean? Yeah. There you go, stick it in the hole. It's kind of hard to put in there, you gotta tuck it in perfect. That's the wrong way. Yep. 
perfect. It only goes in that one way. I got, I feel like I have calluses on my hands now. Oh no.